Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Bowser Gamer, and today we are doing something completely new on the channel. I know I've played mini games and other things on the channel before, but this is something completely new. We are starting an entire Skyblock Island on Hypixel. So if you've never heard of Skyblock on Hypixel, so there is a lot to it. I do have other saves with other friends and doing co-ops and things like that. But I wanted to start a completely new save to start out on a new adventure and hopefully just record it so I can, I don't know, have some content. So this is um, basically Skyblock. You start out on this tiny island. If you've never seen Skyblock, this is basically what it is. You start out on this tiny island and you just basically just do these quests off to the side that says objective. Like my objective right now is to craft a workbench. So I craft a workbench and there we go. Now I craft a wooden pickaxe and there we go. And now I can go, oh, you know what? I'm gonna have turn sound on because I know sound might be enjoyable during the let's play so basically just get some cobblestone make a decent pickaxe I don't know if that is too loud I will just put that kind of low just so it's you're able to hear but it's not loud um I'm gonna make an axe really quickly so I'm just gonna break down this tree one more time and make my axe. And just mine the rest of this tree. I could have just made a cobblestone pickaxe now that I just realized that, but it's okay. Alright, foraging level one. And this is also something. Um, in these worlds that we have, um, there's different skills. Like farming, the more farming I get, I get like plus HP and some coins and chances to drop double crops. For mining... Same thing, but plus one defense, and for 400 coins, or just the amount of coins just keeps going up, and the amount of defense I gain, and the chance to get double goes up too. And same for combat, but that goes for crit chance. And there's many others. Foraging is strength. Fishing is health. Enchanting is intelligence. Alchemy is intelligence. Carpentry, not unlocked yet. Runecrafting, blah, 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 blah. So, I, I just wanted to start a new series on this because I do have a lot of experience in this game um, playing it because I do have another, um, another save with my friends doing a co-op. So, I do have experience, but I did just want to start a completely new thing on the channel because, first of all, I haven't uploaded in forever. And I just wanted to kind of give an update on what's happening with the channel and where it's going to be going. I want to um, do more videos. It's just that my mic right now is not very good when it comes to, like, talking louder. I have to more talk quiet on this, mat, uh, on this mic because if I talk loud it will, um, the mic will peak and stuff, so obviously that get, that will get annoying watching the video if the mic is peaking. So I'm hoping to get a better mic and just, um, kind of upgrade the setup and just make my setup a little bit better than what it is already. Alright, another thing with this. Um, there are these things called minions, and they do certain things so right now i don't have any other minions unlocked but you can see how many minion slots all these all this die right here is basically showing where minions can be so these minions for example this cobblestone minion is producing this cobblestone around me and breaking it at the same time gaining it in its inventory and i can collect it and so my objective is to talk to jerry but i kind of do want to explore 
Alright, and I remember this being down here from starting before, so just give me some, like, grass and stuff to make a cobblestone generator, but I don't think that's necessary right now to do. So I can, um, I can, I'll just keep it with me. Oh yeah, there's also an, an ender chest, so I'll just throw that in there. Alright, my objective is to chalk, chalk, <laughs> talk to Jerry. Uh, your Skyblock Island is a part of a much larger universe. The Skyblock universe is full of islands to explore and resource, uh, re be 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 resources to discover. Use the portal to warp. Ah, I didn't get to read that. Use the portal to warp to the first of those islands, the Skyblock Hub. And now my objective is to use the portal. So I'm gonna do that. Oh, cool. So now I can make cobblestone minions. All right, this is the village. Um, my objective is to talk to all the villagers. If they have this little green above their head, this means that you can talk to them. You can unlock leaflet armor by um, progressing through the oak log collection. There's a forest village, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this guy was trying to give me something and I didn't take it. There we go. Uh, I think it's just telling me that this is like the recipe. So, uh, 20 health, 35, 30, 15. And then the full set bonus is, well, in the forest zone, you gain five health every second. So, yeah, that's, that's pretty nice. Um, you got Tom over here. I will teach you the promising axe recipe. To get started, all Skyblock recipes can be found in the recipe book in your Skyblock menu. So, three iron blocks with that, and it'll make a promising axe. Gains a higher level of enchantment when breaking blocks, and will gain efficiency one after breaking 50 blocks. So I know that this axe is because I've played the game. Obviously, um, the more you, the more trees and logs you break, um, it will um, gain more efficiency. Um, this is Jamie. He gives you the rogue sword, but he tells you about uh, the mana bar. The rogue sword, basically, what you can do with it is when you right click. You'll get a little bitty speed boost. See, right there? Down at the bottom, use speed boost 50 mana. And now I have a little bit of speed. And you can stack them on top of each other, so now I'm even faster. But let's talk to Felix. You can access your ender chest in your skyblock menu, which is already what I showed you. It's right here. Store items in the chest at any time. There's the map, basically showing all the islands around the basic area. Uh, this is Duke. Are you new here? There's a lot to explore. My advice is to start visiting the farm or the coal mine, both north of here. So, uh, farms that way, and the coal mines that way. Even if you ever get lost during a quest, open your quest log in your Skyblock menu. So, I can always open this quest log to see what things I can do. There's Stella. At any time, you can create a co-op with your friends. Simply go into your Skyblock menu. I'm not going to be creating a co-op. I'm going to be doing this solo. Yeah. So basically, that just explains how you can co-op with your friends and have islands that are shared together. Auction house and bizarre alley. Okay. This is the auction house where you can bid and auction out items that you want. Hey there, I'm the auction master. At the auction house, you can put your valuable items up for auction. You may also want to check back here to see what other players are selling to get a good deal. Talk to me if you would like to start your first auction or if you would want to see the items currently being sold. All right, we're not gonna mess with that right now because we still gotta finish this quest. This game is under heavy development. Don't forget to check the forums. Basically, um, Jerry back at the base, starting island, he can give us um, information on like forum updates and like new information and prizes we can get from events. Your Skyblock profile is a Skyblock menu shows details about your current stats. So it's saying that um, you can click this profile and you can see all of your stats or you can just hover over it and see all your stats right there. Oh, I, I did not mean to click that again. Um, I'm pretty sure there is a villager back here, so I don't want to miss that. All right, I got three more villagers to talk to and then we can start doing some things. One day those houses in the village will be rentable for coins. That's actually pretty cool. 
Uh, this is a villager right here. Ryu. Yeah. There are nine skills in Skyblock. Farming, mining, foraging, fishing, combat, enchanting, alchemy, ca carpentry, and runecrafting. And recently added another one. Um, I forget what exactly what it's called. Taming. Yeah. You can learn about them in the skill menu, which you can click these little links that they have in, like, green, just so you can, like, see everything. So, yeah, r right now there's ten because, obviously, the game updated, and there's now ten. Um, I actually... Oh, right there. Okay. That is our last villager, Vex. You can shift, click any player to trade with them. Make sure you don't give away any of your belongings. Got 50 coins for finishing that quest. Um, there's a couple of quests around, which I'll just get done really quickly. Probably cut out at the video. Just getting, like, talking to some NPCs that they want me to talk to. Just to get quests over with. By the way, this is the, uh, pet shop. You can basically come here to either buy upgrades for your pets. This guy has, like, pet items, Zog. Basically, it's, like, XP boosts for certain things. Uh, Bia, I'm pretty sure, sells either bee pets or bee items. Yeah, yeah, she sells bee pets. Alright, so yeah, if you, if you ever want a bee, just get, like, two blocks of coal, two blocks of gold... And 5,000 coins, you can get a your bee pet. Also, common mistake, the bee does not come at level 100. It comes at level 1. It's just telling you at level 100, this will be the stats. Um, they're mostly the same, but they all upgrade and have different uh, stats and uh, abilities off to the side. So, like, common has high gain, 3 intelligence, and 3 strengths for every nearby bee. This gives you buzzy, uh, busy buzz buzz, which uh, has a 50% chance for flowers to drop an extra one. Basically, when you break a flower, it, it might it has a 50% chance of giving you another flower. Um, same for epic, and then for legendary, you got weaponized honey, gains 25% of received damage as absorption, and that's pretty much it. Um, hello, <laughs> and then we got cat, which you can. Put your pets in this slot right here, and when you press this, it will give you a price to do stuff. Oh, this guy wants to trade me. What does he want to give me? Oh, that's actually really, that's really nice. That, that's actually something I want to, oh, okay. Um, I can't accept this, uh, sorry, but no. Thanks, though. <laughs> That guy was nice, but I don't want to get any handouts. I want to do everything my way. Um, we got this person. Oh, I forgot to finish explaining what that cat person does. So basically, what they do is um, you put their you put your pet right here. It will give you a price for it, and if you have the stuff to do it, you can press this and it will level up your um, pet to the basically the next level. So like, for example, if you had a common bee. Um, it would, it's not here in this, but it would level it up to an uncommon B. Because it, it, she levels it up. Um, this is the, uh, this is George, the uh, pet seller. Basically, you can put your pets in here, and when you hover over this, when your pet's in the slot, it will give you a price that your pet sells for. And, um, how much you can sell it for. And basically, if, like, if you want to give away a pet that you don't really need anymore that is like cheap you can just sell it there and it'll give you some money for it all right so talk to the carpenter i know what this quest is i have to go get 64 wool hi buzzer basher welcome to the furniture shop sales are too good right now i can't keep up with my demand could you bring me a stack of wool so i can replenish my stock um that will be later because i do not yet have access to the mushroom forest so which is where i can get sheep all right, and this is the coal mine. Actually, you know what? Before we actually go to the coal mine, I would like to explore. Not, I'm not gonna go anywhere up there and waste any time. I'm just gonna go around here and show some common things to find. This is the bank. Basically, you can come to the bank and store money in this guy. You can either um, deposit or withdraw. 
and you can see recent transactions basically like it will tell you it when like what people it, like for example if you have a co-op you can see what people have done in the bank in, in that transaction thing is the librarian it will sell you um, like the level one version of every book I'm pretty sure yeah like not every book but like sharpness scavenger protection blah 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 efficiency and then some experience in books you can also enchant here if you want to you can put your sword in there and enchant um i can't enchant right now because that is um so you do need vip plus i'm going to say i actually i think it's just vip but you need vip to get in here to talk to this guy he will give you a um he will give you sorry Oh yeah, give the red rose eye. So I need some five, I need five poppies, which you can just collect from. Uh, doing this. Get that five rose die and give it to him. All right, and he gives us a spray can, which basically, um, if we take dyes and put them inside, um, here, the ink storage, um, we can make and print out these photos. So like the Hypixel logo, if I wanted to right click to preview, this is what it would look like on a wall. So this, I really don't need this right now because it's not important to like any like detail. So I'm not going to even mess with that. Um, these are the sellers. So we have the builder, which is like basically blocks the weaponist, which is basically the uh, weaponsmith, not the weaponist. Um, that basically sells us weapons, mine merchant, sells us like mining materials, and farm, which is farm merchant, which gives us like farming materials. The pet shop is over there, and some of these houses don't really have significance yet, like this redstone house is empty. Um, we got the fish, per fish merchant, armor smith, um, uh, lumber merchant, and the adventurer. I'm not gonna talk to all of these people because it's not, I don't, it's not needed. This is the reforging person, and this is the um, whatever they're called. <laughs> I have no idea what those things are called. I forget. All right, and this is the coal mine. So basically, um, you have to level up your mining. As you can see, when I when I break a block, you can see plus six down at the bottom. That is. That is plus six mining XP that will go to my mining level in total. I want to mine this coal because basically in my um, collection, coal is now here and I can make, I can get things to make a coal minion. I can get smelting touch, which is really good. You can put it on your pickaxe to automatically smelt ores. So like if I were to uh, break iron, I, were, I would get... Um, the iron ingot instead of just the uh, ore. All right, and then we travel more down. You get to the gold mine, which brings you to the gold mine. Um, the gold mine. You have talk to the lazy miner. Mine for gold and iron and coal. Visit the iron and gold forger and visit the blacksmith. You can talk to this iron forger and he'll give you. Um, He's also like a shop, you can buy an iron pickaxe that has smelting touch on it, but I wouldn't because if you go up here, there is Lazy Miner, and he'll ask you to go find his pick. So if you want to like watch this video to see how to do it, then you just go down, and it's basically just like the farthest down you can go. Basically just keep looping until you get to the bottom. Then right at the bottom, start seeing it in. Yep, you got the lazy miner's pickaxe. You right click it and you get it. So now we have smelting touch iron pickaxe. That's why I was telling you that you shouldn't even buy anything from that iron guy because you got the iron pickaxe right here. Now you go back up and you talk to um, him. I guess we can go ahead and mine because it tells us to mine. All right. So now we can talk to the lazy, or bleh, Rusty the janitor. 
And what he will do is give us a telekinesis um, ability on our pickaxe. Basically what telekinesis does is that when you mine something, it automatically is put into your inventory instead of falling on the ground like this. See, I have to go up there and mine it. If I was right there, it would just go straight into my inventory. So if we go up, so we talk to this guy, and we got it. Um, we go over here. So this does cost money to do it, it's not free. But if we can put telekinesis on our tools for 100 coins, you see right there. Put it in there, slap that on, we got telekinesis. Um, efficiency, we'll, we'll put on that later. Um, I'm saying the goal of this episode is to at least get to the, uh, the deep caverns, and then we will end this episode off there, because, uh, that's a pretty good place to stop in the middle. Alright, so I will see you when we reach level 5. go back up here and all the way up here and go to the deep caverns all right I think that's where we're gonna end this episode so if you guys want to see what's in the deep caverns stay tuned for next episode Next episode will include the deep caverns and what is inside. Most people that have played this game already probably know what's inside. Because this is a pretty early part of the game. And it's a very important place to be. Next time we'll probably be adventuring through the deep caverns and maybe going to the barn for the first time. So that's the end of the video guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, smash the like button and subscribe because I'll start making videos pretty soon and I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you guys next time. Bye!